Hey, so yo, what's up? Uh, I thought I'd do a video response here to your video about Drum Muhammad Day being illegal in Tennessee. And even though I'm not going to law school or anything, I think I could possibly make some interesting points here about the law that was just made. Silence! I kill you! That's not one of the two points I'm trying to make. Just thought it'd be funny to show that since I'm wearing the shirt. And don't misinterpret this as support of drama on that day, please. No, actually, my first statement here will be in defense of this. And the fact that it, there might be some sort of reason to enact such a law, if you consider the whole phrase that it would be dangerous to say, shout out fire in a crowded building or a movie theater or whatever. It's made phrase made famous by the... Shenek versus United States case in 1919, where a man was prosecuted for, uh, I believe he was hanging up flyers to speak out against World War One, and the United States really needed to raise money for it. That being said, they said he what he was doing was creating a clear and present danger. Now, in 1969, restrictions were placed on that law to where it would only say create a cr clear and pleasant blah, clear and present danger if the person was doing something to incite maybe panic or violence like that. And one could argue that things like events like Drum Muhammad Day or some idiot trying to do something like, say, post a picture of Muhammad up on a giant billboard. Yeah, I can see where they would be going with that. They wouldn't want another terrorist attack. Totally understandable. But that being said there... Incident. What? This law is a violation of the First Amendment. That is, that the, the amendment gives us the right to freedom of speech, freedom of re religion, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, all that, uh, all that good stuff. And last I checked, that was also a federal law. Now, this is a state law which is trying to, in, which has been enacted to try and do something against a federal law. Which, um, sorry, Tennessee, but I don't think you can really actually do that. And as a further argument, may I state that I feel Tennessee enacted this law mainly as a result of some rabid Islamophobia. Yes, a very horrible disease. And I feel like, you know, that, you know, the best intentions were not really had with this thing. You racist bastard! Is that what you think I like? This is my incredibly messy drafting table right now. I don't necessarily want my freedom of expression limited just because uh, someone might be offended by some of the artistic work I might attempt to do. And just saw it, just thought I'd add this on. Uh, as a pagan, you know, if I were offended by every misrepresentation of pagan culture and witchcraft, I, I don't think I'd be able to enjoy popular media like movies and television books anymore. People are to be offended by things like this, you know, there are positive ways of dealing with it that don't involve getting violence, which would lead that person to be in the wrong, you know? Just as an artist who would depict something like that has a right to freedom of expression, you know, here in the United States you have the right to free speech as well, and you can speak out against that piece of art all you want. I don't support Draw Muhammad Day, I don't plan on watching any of the videos, and I don't plan on participating in it either. But that doesn't mean you don't have the right to do that. Until then, Thunderfoot subscribers can draw pictures of Muhammad all they want. I'll just be here watching Jeff Dunham with his puppets. I kill you! And really, well, that's all for now. So, let's all you and everyone else who happened to watch. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, blessed be.